Hey, it's Mad Queen. Welcome into the Queen's Lair. This is actually the first video I'm pretty sure that I've made over the ancient altar. This isn't exactly going to be a guide, but it's going to be between a guide somewhat and also a showcase. I will explain to you why I'm doing what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and give you some helpful tips and whatnot. But I also want to point out as well, you can tell I only have four tickets. You do get five maximum. And I have done hell. I do have the ability to beat hell in one ticket. But you do not want to do that. The reason why is because you can get double the rewards if you beat the latest stage you're able to with two tickets instead of one. So if you're not able to beat hell with two tickets, don't fight it. But if you're consistently able to do hell with two tickets, do hell, normal, easy, and novice. And honestly, if you just keep doing that every week, you will get to the point where you're going to be able to get to hell and beat it consistently as well. The really nice thing about this is it is forgiving. So you can jump in and out of the different stages multiple times and retry it and retry it and retry it and just keep plugging in different options, moving heroes around, trying different commanders and so on and so forth because it doesn't take away from you. There are not a lot of games that are this forgiving and that will let you cycle in and out and have a bunch of different options. Of course, there are games that do that, but this game is very forgiving when it comes to losing or restarting things in general. You don't typically lose anything, and that's really nice. So the reason we farm this is because we can get a lot of summons, first of all, advanced and, lim and limited. You can get diamonds. That's not really why I do it. But you get gear from here that you cannot get anywhere else. It's the Abundance Set, Herald, Light Gap, and Gluttony. These are pretty important sets, especially to help your heroes. I mean, with Abundant, that's an excellent set to put on either Masrani or to also put on Serena. Or just anybody that can do a lot of healing. So... You want to make sure that you're completing this, and you can only do it once a week. I do recommend, if you're not in the late game, wait until there's only a day or two left before it resets, and then go ahead and do your runs, because you're going to be able to progress and add a lot to your account from the first day of the reset until the last day. And typically, you can do more damage in general, or you may have more heroes, better gear, whatever, that's going to allow you to potentially even move up. So wait and do these at the end of the week. But for myself, I am in the late to end game, so I can do these any time of the week, and that's because I can do this in one go of it. So I'm going to jump in and we'll we'll go th we'll go through hell and while it's going I will talk to you guys a bit about what's going on. Um yes, yes, yes. You do want to prioritize putting your best heroes on the third team. I have tried every combination you can think of with prior prioritization um, and that is where you're going to get the best results. After that, I would prioritize going for the shield, which is in the second boss. So this guy is who allows the boss to do extra damage and while it may seem like, you know, well, shouldn't I prioritize this because I'm going to take a lot of damage? If you have a really good healer like Serena, 
it's not going to really matter much. But if you take away that shield, you can do a lot more damage a lot faster. In this boss, you do want AoE heroes because, as you can see, there are little things that spawn in that deal damage to you. And you need to be able to attack them quickly all at once if you can. So you can see here the final boss's damage is going to go from 500% down to 100, which is really nice. And then in here, um, I didn't go over all of the heroes I had there. I'm, and I'm telling you as well, these teams are not like super optimal either. This is really a lot of just thrown in. The reason I have a summoner in here, you do want to have one summoner in the second boss is because they get prioritized. So I have Bailey, Randall, Botmark II, uh, Skewer and Hattie, and Taylor. You want heroes to help take down the shield quickly, but also you want defense down if you can get it. And of course we were able to fully beat it, so um, there's no shield on the final boss. If you can, you want to try Obviously, this is going to depend on what you have and where you have them, but make sure that you have somebody that can put defense down in every team. I actually didn't have that on my first team, and I keep I keep forgetting every single time. It doesn't matter, though, because if I make too many positive changes where I'm at, then I'm not going to beat it in two tickets. I'm going to beat it in one. So I don't want it to be um, extremely optimal either. So that is something to keep in mind. But you can see here I have Artis, who is literally here tanking and putting defense down. Emma, Azina, and Falvia are doing damage. And then Serena is keeping everybody alive. These are definitely rewards you don't want to miss out on because out of all of the ways to farm gene hybrids in the game, this is one of the better ways. You're able to farm quite a few gene hybrid shards from completing this. So, of course, you don't get it right away, but you get it at the end of the week. If you're kind of curious what are you going to get at each stage, I believe, is it under achievements? No. <laughs> Milestones, yes. So if you totally beat hell, you're going to get all of this stuff. And I mean, this is a really good way to also collect quite a few shards too. Or not shards, they're not shards in this game. Recruitments, summons, so that you can get more heroes. Hard does not, unfortunately, give any of those gene hybrid shards which is why whenever i tell people and i'm trying not to get too much on a tangent about farming gene hybrid shards you don't really want to focus on farming shards anywhere else in the game until you're able to farm them here it makes a huge difference and when you're getting double rewards you're getting double the amount of these which is super super nice i'm not going to go through and fight a hard normal easy for you guys but those are the ones I will do next I do two on hell one on hard one on normal one on easy I'm really hoping that they will come out with a new stage of this that's even harder that would be super awesome because of course I've been playing for quite some time now and it'd be nice to get some harder content in the game where I'm at I'm already completing all of the hardest stuff so I'm basically just logging in to farm and do arena every day. But if you guys have any more questions or if I left something out that may be helpful for somebody else, put that in the comments below. I would, I would love to answer anything you guys have to ask. Also, join my growing Discord community. It's a great way for beginners to ask for advice and experienced players to help give advice. The link for that is gonna be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.